So what is up guys, I'm Android G and back with another new video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make epic thumbnail on Android. So without wasting time, let's get straight into the video. You have to open pixel lab and just add your own text and go to the second option A and just choose font name plums. The font will be given in the description. This is used by most of the YouTuber. So I also use in many of my thumbnails. As you can see this this is thumbnail this thumbnail was made by this font. After that just save to the gallery and you have to make sure that your in background image is transparent. After that just open Photoshop touch and choose default size of the blank document and just click on the layer button and choose your background. After importing background just click on the FX button and just click on the blur and just make it blur to the full full hundred percent so it will look like this. So after after that import your all the text you had made from the pixel lab. After importing and you have to make sure that it is very closer to each other and it should be look like this and that that attracts the people and just click on the first layer and select the first text by using magic wand tool and fill it with whatever color you want. I will be choosing this light green color and just do the same with the third layer and the thir third layer of the first text so just select the T and just fill it with the same color or you can choose whatever color you want so I will be choosing the same color after that what you have to do is to select the middle layer and select all the words with the magic one tool and you have to select the plus mode and select it all after that just click on the end and select the gradient and here you can choose whatever gradient you want I will be choosing this rainbow and you can make it more nice by adding some more colors like this so now I choose this color and you can be more creative and you can choose many combination of the color after that select all the text of the middle layer after selecting the text you can you have to click on the end and click on the fill and stroke and you have to type and stroke so after that you can choose whatever color you want in my case i will be choosing black color so after that you can do the same with all the th all the text so it looks like this after making strokes in all you can merge them all out in the one layer after that you can fill the empty layer empty space this space with any emojis you want i will be choosing this emoji make it more larger and just fill fill all the blank space with this after that make the emoji layer down to the towards the text layer Afterward, here yeah, you can add drop shadows by clicking on the FX button like this and just add drop shadow to it. It will look nicer. You can add as much as drop shadow you want. It looks 3D and bolded more. So now our thumbnail is ready and you can add more effects by clicking on the side side option of the effects button and click on the invert and you can invert the color of the original text so guys thank you for watching and please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos and stay tuned